Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a battle report. What are battle reports? You buy your models, you build your models, you paint your models, you put them together in a list and you have a, a game. And that's what this is today. It's going to be a bit of a, I think it's going to be a quick game today. But for, I'll get into that in a second. For all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. See you in a minute. Right, so today's game, you'll see for the thumbnail, is going to be Demons versus Grey Knights. Mark got Mark's wants a bit of a, a bit of a different army to play play with um, from Drukari because he's been playing with them for weeks and weeks and weeks for the G, for the Grand Tournament, and he had X amount of games with them at the at the GT, so he's just sick of them for a while. The Demon list I have. Today, I actually put together two throw against the Drukari to help prep him for the GT, but I um, I didn't have time. We didn't have time to have the game, which is unfortunate because I think this list would have absolutely gone mental on that Drukari army. But anyway, I'll bring you down, show you my army, and run through my plan as I'm going along, and then. Pack everything up. I go to Mark's, and we'll go through his list, and we'll crack on with it. The only thing I will say is I don't think. I think I have was it twenty. Three, four, five, twenty-six models. I have. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to have a lot of movement and that sort of thing. I think Mark has maybe. About 30 models, I think. But again, that's, I think there's only like five or six squads or something like that, units. So there's not going to be, there'll be movement, but there's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be worth filming it the way I normally film it, where I come back and show you, right, these guys moved here, these guys moved there, and these guys advanced and all that sort of stuff. And then go to the shooting phase and say, okay, these guys shot this and killed this. I think it might just be a case of doing the turn. And coming back to you at the end of the turn and saying, okay, these guys moved up, they shot this and they did this, and this, you know, these are guys charged into combat, and that kind of way, just because there's not enough, there's not that many models on the table. I think the turns are going to be really, really quick. But anyway, I'll bring you down, show my, my list. So I think it's an aggressive list, I really do. I think I'm, I think I am shy of maybe one or two more infantry units that I should maybe. You know, you should drop something to try and squeeze in there. But I'll show you my list and go for my plan. Right, so leading my army is the Dark Master, better call himself. He's got one of his three abilities. I think the, the one I'm going to go for all the time is six inch aura. You can't target anyone inside that six inch aura unless you're within 18 inches of that, which is, you know, very nice. Karaya's Fate Weaver. Absolutely fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint job. A bloodthirster. I've given him the um, the blades enhancement, which basically gives him plus two attacks and plus two to strength. He's got the the um, blood flower and the, the axe of corn because they come with the great axe as standard. But I always change it out because that gives him two ranged attacks and his breath weapon and his whip. A uh, great demon of Nurgle. With the enhancement, it gives him a four plus for no pain. The Keeper of Secrets, who's actually your arm fell off. Nice. <laughs> um, I have the other one. I might bring the other one instead of this actual one because the arm come off of this one. Right. There's my main, main characters. I've got one Plague Beast. I've got one unit of ten Plague Bearers. Three Flamers, Masquerade, Five Seekers, and the Changeling. Now, the Plague Bearer is going to start on my home for objective because they can sticky that. I have a stratagem that I can lift two of my units at the end of my opponent's movement phase. 
and put them in deep strike to come down the following turn if they're within the shadow of chaos. Or I can lift one unit that isn't inside of my shadow of chaos and you know you can come down the deep strike my next turn. The flamers, the plague beast, the masquerade and the changeling are gonna start in deep strike. The reason these two are gonna start in deep strike is because they can come down and do actions or they can come down and take you know table quarters or you know sneak in somewhere to score me some points. The flamers can come down and try and pick off single characters or come down and just pick off light light units. The plague beast the same, you can come down and just try and charge a little unit. Seekers are gonna start on the table. They have a scout, I think it's six inches or nine inches or something, something like that, but they can scout forward. They have a very high movement, so the plan for them is to try and move them towards uh, an objective and just hold the objective for as long as possible. Now, with these big bad boys, I'm thinking probably trying to set him up in the center somewhere so he can go forward to the central objective, can come off either side if he needs to, because it's a four plus one of pain. First time hold putting to keep a secret on the table, so I don't know how she's gonna gonna work. But I'm thinking of putting these two, Cry Sweet River and the Keep of Secrets down one flank. Better claw, better claw, and blood first down the other flank. Play the stratagem um at the end of his turn. If he goes first and lift two models up, depending on what position is or, or whatever, like he's deployment. So if I think that where these two are, there's nothing really tasty there, then I can lift them and bring them down to another side of the table where they're gonna you know, be, be of a nuisance. The same with Bellicorn and Bloodthirster. Now my plan is simple. The first couple of turns, if I can take an objective and hold it, great, fantastic. If not, I just want to swamp one of his units with as many of these bad boys as I can destroy that unit if i can move them off and and target another unit and charge and swamp them then go for it i know if if i do that instead of moving them all off together and going after one unit at a time i may end up going to get distracted and start separating them off which i don't want to do or keep myself away from doing that but it's uh yeah it depends on what he puts down because i know he's got a big block of terminators and another unit of, I think they're paladins, I think they're called. But yeah, it's, uh, there's a couple of Dread Knights in there as well, so it's a pain in the ass. but hopefully I can swamp them and, and cause a nuisance of myself to him. Anyway, this was the list that was meant to take on the Drakari army for the GT. I don't think his Drakari army would have been able to handle this. In all honesty, he would have had to focus a lot of firepower on one model each turn. You know, and but anyway, that's a different story for a different day. We're going to get packed up and they're going to head over to his and then come at you with we're ready for it. Cool. So I have uh, Kaldor Drago as my warlord uh, with five terminators, uh, one with a banner and one with an artesium. So I have plus one OC and then I can bring one back every turn. Then I have two units of strikes just with a flamer in each squad. <clears throat> I have two. Uh, Librarians on their own, uh, first we're doing mortal wounds, hopefully. Then a squad of paladins with uh, uh, four psi cannons and a grandmaster. The grandmaster has a sigil of excellence, uh, which gives him uh, if the first time they get targeted as a shooting attack, they can be lifted off the board or moved somewhere else. And then, and grandmaster and nemesis dread knight, and then two. Now it's the Dread Knights. Okay. Oh. So I might okay. run the roll for the first turn. So he's going to have a shimmy along and see what he can do. Cool. Okay, so Mark's turn one. He moved a few bits of pieces around. Oh, sorry, I'm going uh, fixed. Are you going to fix or tactical? Sorry, right, tactical. Okay. Shot the Seekers. Okay. Took them down to two models. But the big story here. The unit of Terminator is there, and the uh, Dread Knight took Karaya's Fate Weaver down to three wounds left from 20. Some, with Psy Cannons. Not even Stormbolts, because Stormbolts took out the uh, Seekers. So, um, end of Mark's turn, I'm going to spend my one CP and lift two units off the table. 
to bring them down in my in my next turn. And they're gonna move on to my turn one. Um, right, so my first turn, I move the guys up. I purposely did not shoot these guys because he has an ability to lift them if they get targeted targeted for shooting. We shot the, the false knight with Karas Fate Weaver, killed him. So when it comes to charge phase, Bellacor then charged into the, what are they called? Uh, the strikes. Strikes. Killed two. Yep. Bloodthirster, Karas Fate Weaver and the Keeper of Secrets charged into the uh, guys here. We've done a few wins with Blood First Dad, then these guys, um, it's not, what's well, not, counter, counter, counter attack, offensive. Yeah, counter offensive. Interrupted. Into and killed Christ Fake Weaver. He exploded, done more damage to everyone around here. And then she killed a couple, we've done a few more wins on her. And now we're going to Mark's mm -hmm. turn two after he's decided if he's lifted anyone off the table. Yeah. One for your shenanigans. Uh, I fell, but I, I passed on my, but I had one balance of tests to do here and I passed it. Uh, I move my strikes out to here to hold the whole middle objective. I don't really have the ability to set up an objective this turn, so I'm just going to try and hold the middle one. Uh, these guys fell back from Bellacor after he lets, let's face it, kind of whiffed into them. <laughs> uh, so they're in there. Then this Grand Master dropped in to hopefully do some shooting and maybe a charge into here. So that these moved over to get a six inch charge. These two dropped in the hope of doing a lot more heap of mortal wounds to him. The blood pass, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna start shooting now in a second and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Yep. Lovely. Right, that was a very successful um shooting, shooting phase for Mark there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> blood first got shot. So I did a lot of mortal wounds with the uh, two librarians dropped in to do mortal wounds on them. Then uh, the paladin squad opened up on them with all yeah. their remaining side cannons. Side cannons and they, I think they killed them, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Did that. A lot of wounds went through. And then I just piled as much as I put in here. I did very badly with my flamer over here, but I did very well with it over here. He's uh, taken 10. He's down to 10. He's taken 10. He's taken 10. Yeah. left. Uh, so we're not in as bad place. I thought we were in a really bad place after losing basically four to fifty point unit there, but we're better than I thought we were. Yeah, now it's in your charge basis. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so this is a nine incher. I don't massively care about this one. That's a seven, that's fine. And then this one I do want to go off. This is a six, so that's fine. Oh, I love it. Cool. Uh, they advanced, advanced, so they're not going anywhere. He dropped in. Uh, for kind of safety's sake, I'm tempted to come over and take this one here. The nice Go seeker. Her. What? The seeker. Yeah, which is a bit more safe than going anywhere else there. So the seeker, the nine. That's fine. He loves it. Right. And I'm going to be annoying and make you roll the dice. <laughs> uh, that's fine, never mind. And then I failed this one, and yeah. this one made it. Yeah. it? And they fell back. And that's not going to come back. Yeah. So we're good outside of that. Yep. Uh, you have one so how, how many time for lunch? <laughs> uh, I'll put in one. Right, so the combat phase. Ooh. Berlacor died. They just took him out. Didn't even get to fight back on nothing. I didn't kill none of these guys, did I? No, you say. killed one. Okay. Um, Mark plays Armour attempt to try and. And that actually worked very well, didn't it? I'd say one model, yeah. It was actually the minus one to wound coming from their ability that had the biggest effect on it. Oh, so now we're going to go into my turn two. <laughs> yeah, you have assassination still. Yeah. And you got behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines, that's in your deployment zone. Yeah, which is a very easy yeah. thing for you to do with your uh, models. Right, so I'm going to... I lifted the plague bearers, as Mark suggested. Lift them, drop them, use... Use a strategy of chopping three inches in the center. So I'm going to do that. And the rest of the guys are all coming in as well now. Hmm. Right, so okay. my turn. I dropped the, the guys in. This is very quick turns now, so it's not no point doing individual bits and pieces. Dropped the guys in. The uh, flame is shot at the librarian at the back. Caused a single wound, isn't it? Mm. Hmm. All no, for it. They didn't cause any wound. Okay. It's the changing that did. Oh, okay. So changing, yeah, changing, uh, done pretty much him. 
all three of these guys failed their, their charge. Nine inch charge into the ground in front, they all failed him. He made his charge in. They uh, killed the unit down to just the, the uh, Mr. Man there. Now it's Mark's turn three. And I think this is wrapping up time, isn't it? Mm, I don't think so. I think I got one more turn of things that go in that race. Right, so Mr. Man charged in, killed the keeper. This guy's charged in here, murdered, murdered them. Librarian's ability killed the, the um, masquerade. Murdered. They murdered. I exercised them. He uh, killed one of the flamers. I, I would presume he's going to kill them anyway. The uh, These guys shot and killed the changeling. And they charged him, he's called a plague beast. So we've just uh, finished up now. It's very, uh, very mad. Yeah, two very like mobile armies, like. And he's, he's a lot of cat and mouse up yeah. and down his stuff, you know. Um, I didn't miss at all because you, you get dropping in and then I couldn't, I couldn't react to it. But then the one squad that might have been able to react was just locked in combat. He just charged in first turn, they were locked in combat for ages. Um, I don't think I'd throw them out like that again. No. I, I fucked up with throwing them out. I was very lucky with your wound rolls and some of my saber rolls at times. But... I'm trying to think, what on your army would I would I say then the most useful? I'd say librarians. Librarians are amazing. Absolutely, two librarians. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. The two librarians are fantastic. The amount of death wounds they've done on the, the yeah. Bloodfester. Just stupid. There's no way for them to save against them. It's absolutely stupid. Like the dread knights, I like, but I, I think I'd be tempted to drop two dread knights and just have two squads of terminators with librarians. Yeah. To soak up the more, if you do roll a one, soak up the more wounds. But like, the other thing is that because they're so they're on their own, they're so small with their uppy downy, they can fit into very small areas to yeah. to, to, to apply those more wounds. Yeah. Where if they had a squad with them, like here they, with the masquerade, just yeah. taking them out. If they had the squad with them, they would have struggled to actually fit into places yeah. to do those more wounds. So you're kind of. You're trying to figure out which is the better option. But... So what do you think, what unit you know, on my army do you think was the uh, most effective, most pain uh, in the ass? The, the, the blood, the, what do you call it? The, keeper. The keeper, yeah. The keeper's annoying. Keepers are just really annoying to get through all their wounds. Uh, yeah, what about mine? Say the librarians. Yeah. Definitely. They were just... I think the paladins are incredible. Like they're incredibly tough. That minus one to wound. On yeah, them, yeah. Like... But see, with that said, these guys here, they 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 took three great demons. Yeah. They held them there against three great demons. Yeah. Even if you forget about good saving throws or bad, you know, wound rolls, whatever, they still had three great demons on them. Yeah. No, it's minus one to wound is very strong with them, or not the one minus one to wound, but like the. When their strokes tied in your toughness, yeah, they're minus one on it. Yeah, it's these. And then the ignoring modifiers is, is very strong as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like into Catan, they'd just be going in and they'd be. Or some Catan don't have the demon keyword by any chance. No, do I don't think yeah. they do. No. Hilarious. I, I I know the avatar does. The avatar does. I think the avatar is the only one with it, other than outside of like demons. That was a good game. Strikes did their bit. They say I wasn't too troubled by them. Plus it's Bellicor for the whiffing. I it know. Completely whiffing into them. Whereas... He whiffed it. He should have walked in there, wiped them out, and then piled I could have consolidated onto the... Piled into the Keeper. He, he piled into the Librarian. Like, but then them just standing there and taking it. Like, I rolled, what, I rolled two sixes to say yeah, it wasn't yeah. there. But still, there were still three models left in the unit. So there would have yeah. still been one model left. So he wouldn't have been... He should have just took them out straight away. I think Delacour is just, I've never really seen him pop off for you. I think he's a bit disappointing. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to join the Lion and the Silent King and just come for bigger games. As paperweights. Yeah, just come for bigger games and that's yeah. it. But yeah, no, I enjoyed that. It's nice having demons on the table again. Yeah, it was nice to get this game again. But... So indifferent to Drukari. Yeah. <laughs> Even though this list, as I said at the beginning, this list was made to try and face you on the Drukari list nice for the GT. This palate cleanser, post-Drukari post palate cleanser. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that, like, uh, 
I need to paint this list now, really. Yeah, no, I'm just, I just get a good look at it for my viewers. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I do love the blue on the, the backpacks on the guys there. Oh, I can see this as well. This is what I'm working on at the moment. Ooh. Ooh. And then Nurgle Chaos Demons. Ooh. Or Chaos uh, Knights. Ooh. That's very nice. I'm just getting kind of sick of painting with copper at the moment. I know, it's just... Oh. It's bad enough as, on like paper, as I said, but at least on, on the normal stuff, you can just miss a little bit, yeah. and it just looks like it's... But yeah, it's, it's so annoying, gold trim. Very nice. Yeah, so hopefully next time we play, I'll be bringing Chaos Knights. Okay. Fully painted Chaos Knights. I might well, that was a slob on a cover game. <laughs> I, I really like that. Well, there's uh, something I forgot to do, which actually I only remembered on the way home. I don't think it would have mattered too much. Was the blood first that has an ability at the end of the combat phase? I roll 8d6 every four plus is a mortal wound. On average, it's about four mortal wounds he causes from those eight dice. On average, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five, but on average, it's about four. I don't think it would have done very much against those terminators. Would have killed one, maybe, but I don't think it would have done very much because the librarians just um, mortal wounded him to death. <coughs> those librarians, on their own, <coughs> in that list, being able to lift them up and put them down somewhere else, that was very good. That was uh, very good, very handy. Made them a pain in the ass. Um, my plan for just swamping units, it started working. It was working well, but those Terminators just really tanked all of that. If the Librarians hadn't killed the um, Bloodthirster, the Bloodthirster would have probably finished, not finished that unit off that turn, but would have done some serious damage to it. And the rest of the guys would then, you know, finish them off, I, I think. If I'd remembered about his ability as well, and if the Lovers hadn't killed him, I think I think the second round of combat with him against that unit, he would have he would that unit would have been gone. Um, Thrice Fate Weaver come through with his one shot, the uh, one shotted the um, Nemesis uh, Dread. Wow, <laughs> which actually changed the whole thing for Bellicor because Bellicor was going to charge it, end up charging the strikes. And I think they strikes, I think they're called. And just whiffed the whole lot. Just whiffed it. There was five models in the squad. Um, he killed two. I know Mark saved two, uh, made two save throws with six. So he saved two, but in all honesty, better cost should have killed all three of them. But anyway, <laughs> that's that. Um, Flame has failed their charge. Changing failed his charge. Plague Beast failed his charge. If they were a charged librarian, the, you know, the, the first librarian, they would have slaughtered him, consolidated into the next librarian, and that would take those librarians from jumping up and down and all that. Because the, the librarian then the next turn jumped and at the end of my turn he went up and, and came down and killed the masquerade with his ability. So, you know, and took my home for objective. So that would have been you know, that would have totally changed all that. And if they'd made that charge, it means then he would have had to bring those Paladin guys over. You know, it was a one of those ones. But no, I enjoyed it. I, I know Mark enjoyed facing so many great demons. And seeing that, that Terminator unit just tank them. Now, I will say that the Keeper of Secrets is actually fantastic. I, don't, I did something wrong with her um, with her enhancement. She had the um, soul eater enhancement. Every time she kills an enemy model, I thought it was an enemy unit. This enemy model in close combat, I roll a dice and plus one to it if she's inside the shadow chaos, but she has her own shadow chaos. So on the three plus, she um, heals a wound. You know, I thought it was every unit, so I wasn't rolling for it when she was killing stuff. I thought it was every unit. But that's not, you know, big issue. It's first time using it on the table, so 
you know, we're first time using that enhancement as well. What I would change in this list, I would probably drop Bellacor. I don't think he was needed today, in all honesty. Um, when he dropped down behind, Mark was under pressure in because there's one or two targets I could have gone for. When Karai's Fate Weaver destroyed Dread, that just changed the whole over there for Bellacor just to charge the other unit. You know, which he made these charges fantastic, but he just whiffed these attacks. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's the only thing I would change this. Maybe drop him. I, I don't even know if I'd bring another great and clean one in or another Keeper of Secrets, because that's an option I have. Or if I'd uh, increase the Plague Beast to two models. Um... Maybe drop the changing and the masquerade because I don't I don't really do they weren't very effective. Uh, I don't know. And maybe put another unit of plague bearers in so I can drop them down somewhere on an objective and they, they can stick it in my next turn. I don't know, there's a lot a lot to think about there. But a very good game. I really enjoyed it. It was good seeing the Grey Knights on the table again. Uh yeah. Any comments or, or anything guys about this video about report? Check on below as always. If you've seen this for the first time, hit the subscribe button because it costs you nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube share this video with more and more people, which just makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. And it is an amazing community we have here. And very soon the community, the amazingness of this community is gonna get even more, even better. Because I'll have my Discord, my Discord server set up for members and Anyone that's a member will be able to come on there and, and talk and see what's coming up for the week and, you know, share pictures of this is what I'm working on. When, you know, I can show them pictures of this is what I'm going to be working on this week or this is what I've, I'm have i doing at the moment. It'll go on video next week, whatever it is. I don't know. But, you know, that sort of thing. So if you're not part of this channel, subscribe to the channel, you know, hit the notification button, hit your thumbs up. Any comments below as always, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.